Hello Coffeeholics, welcome back. Today is a very simple basic barista guide to making hot espresso drinks without knowing how to make latte art. So if you are new to coffee making and do not have the knowledge in how to prepare your drinks with latte art, don't despair. You can start your coffee shops with just preparing your drinks easy and quick. Not all coffee chains, including big coffee chains, make their drinks with latte art. So do not be too hard on yourself. Give yourself some slack and make these drinks using the procedures that I'm going to show you today. We are going to make this a two-part series. First part will be making the drinks using six ounces cups. And the second part will be making the drinks using 12 ounces cups. To make the six ounce hot espresso drinks, I use one shot of espresso for each of the cups. I'm going to pull two double shots of espresso. I have my six ounce cup here and this is 18 grams of coffee beans in. And I'm going to aim to pull this within 29 seconds. I'm using here a $1,000 espresso machine which I find very effective. On the panel you will also see the timer so you know exactly how long it's taking you to pull your shots. I pulled it within 28 seconds, that to me is the perfect shot. So I've got two beautiful shots of espresso here. Let's start preparing our drink, starting with Americano. For the Americano, it's very simple. All you have to do is to add hot water into the drink. And you have the first drink, which is Americano. And now let's steam the milk. In steaming the milk, we are more interested in stretching rather than texturing. For most, texturing is the most difficult part of steaming the milk. So we are going to make a cappuccino-like milk foam. Insert the steam wand so that it is barely touching the surface of the milk. This will ensure that you inject more air and you get more foam in your milk. This is my steamed milk. You're aiming to have very thick foam on top and very creamy. Now I'm going to start by making a cappuccino. For the cappuccino, it's very simple. All we need is to have a thick milk foam. So I'll start with the milk foam on top. I'm going to scoop milk foam and pour it into my cup. Just about a couple. Okay, and then we are going to pour the milk over. And then because this is a cappuccino, you top it up with a sprinkle of chocolate powder. And this is your hot cappuccino, simple and easy. For the next one, we are going to make Spanish latte. For the Spanish latte, I'm going to use condensed milk. And because this is a six ounce cup, I'm going to add 10 ml of my condensed milk. Now this pump is 15 ml, so I'm not going to pull or to push all the way down. So it's just about 10 ml of my condensed milk. Stir, combine. And again, plain and simple, we are going to add our fond milk. Okay, so for this, I'm going to simply pour the milk into my drink. And then top it up with a very thin milk foam. So it should be thinner than your cappuccino, okay? So this is Spanish latte, quick and simple. For my next drink, caramel macchiato. So this is my one shot of espresso. And to this, I'm going to add vanilla. Stir to combine. So pour your milk high. This is your fond milk. Pour high so you can also use a spoon to stop the foam from getting into your cup at this point and then scoop up the foam on top of the milk and we are going to finish it off with some caramel sauce or you can use a latte pen to make a design so I'm just going to push all of them outward 
four corners and then inward four sides and this is a simple caramel macchiato for six ounce cup and for our final drink it is mocha add your chocolate syrup into your espresso stir pour the foam milk into the cup to scoop up the foam i'm going to use my chocolate sauce to decorate on top hot mocha this is your spanish latte this is your caramel macchiato your cappuccino all milky drinks using very simple presentation and preparation method well there you go five delicious hot espresso drinks using six ounces cups and prepared in a simple way if you have any question about these recipes do let me know comment below i'll see you again for part two of this series which is making the drinks in 12 ounces cup in the meantime stay safe stay tuned thank you for watching ciao for now